Muscular dystrophies are a group of genetic diseases that cause progressive muscle weakness and loss of muscle mass. We're going to explore one subgroup called limb girdle muscular dystrophy, also known as LGMD. These diseases weaken muscles of the shoulders, upper arms, hips, and thighs. However, each subtype of LGMD is caused by a different inherited faulty gene. The faulty genes result in crucial proteins within the muscles to be produced incorrectly, which inhibits muscle function. Individuals affected by LGMD might have trouble walking, getting out of chairs, or climbing stairs. Weakness in the shoulder muscles make reaching above the head or carrying heavy objects difficult. As the disease progresses, individuals may require the use of assistive mobility devices. There are two main subcategories of LGMDs. Those that are due to a dominant gene mutation, classified as LGMDD, and those that are due to a recessive gene, classified as LGMDR. Gene therapy may be able to provide new opportunities to slow the progression of this disease by introducing genetic material into cells, helping them to change the way they function. The working genes are delivered into the cells using a vector, which is often derived from viruses. But don't worry, all the viral genes have been removed and the vector is modified to only deliver therapeutic genes. Due to the variety of LGMDs, each treatment would need to be designed to target the certain mutated gene. For a type caused by a recessive gene mutation, both copies of the gene are faulty and no functional protein is produced, so gene therapy would deliver a specific working gene into the muscle cells, making them capable of producing the proteins that were missing. However, a type caused by a dominant gene mutation, where one copy of the gene is expressed abnormally, would require the gene that is delivered into the muscle cell to use a blocking approach called antisense therapy. Here to explain more is Dr. Katherine Wagner. Antisense therapy is designed to keep cells from interpreting genetic information. Genes are copied to RNA, which carry out the instructions of each gene. Antisense therapy uses synthetic DNA or RNA that bind to the dominant gene's RNA, blocking its ability to make the faulty protein. Essentially, the faulty gene is turned off and its harmful effects are inhibited. This approach uses vectors to deliver the therapy as well. Researchers continue to work optimistically on gene therapies in clinical trials until they are safe and effective. For more information and resources about gene therapy for limb girdle muscular dystrophies, visit ASGCT.org.